Alright, in this video we're going to look at another complex animation in KOWP and we are going to do the ta-da down here at the bottom in the rectangle but now I have it set up as a square and here is, this is not a secret, it's on the internet. When I got into the whole animation deal, you know, it's, Frank refers to it as the CSS3. So I went to Google and typed in CSS3 and I started typing animation and next thing I know it said animation generator and I'm like, heck yes. So CSSanimate.com this is a place where you can go and you can actually generate, um, you know, a, a, you can create your thing in here to test it and you can transfer it over to KOWP. But underneath examples here, we have ta-da. All right. And now if we play this to see what it looks like, that's what it's going to look like. You see how that's kind of doing like ta-da. All right, cool. Let's roll with it. So here we go. What do we need to get out of this thing? Uh, we need to get the code. And the code, I look for one like keyframes. I'm looking for all the percentages. See that 0%, 10, and all the way up to 100. So that's the code that I'm interested in. And I'm going to paste that into here. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy this verbatim. Uh, you can leave off the 0% if you want, but I mean me, I just like to kind of do it thoroughly and I'm not changing anything about it. So I'm going to go and type all these things in. I want to show you some pieces where you have to do things a little bit different. And then I'm going to fast forward through a good chunk of this and just come back and show it to you. So uh, let's do it on loop and let's do complex animation. And I'm going to leave it on normal for right now because I'm going to show you how that can affect uh, how the animation looks, the smoothness and stuff like that. So for 0%, we want to rotate 0 degrees and we want the scale of X and Y to be at 1. Well, one thing you can do differently here, since we're scaling X and Y the same amount in each animation, uh, you can just do a scale X, Y instead of scaling X and scaling Y. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So at 0%, honestly, okay, I said I'm going to do it, but you don't have to because this is doing nothing. Um, at 0%, 0 degrees, uh, does it, do we need to do it? Yeah, i tell you what, I'm just kidding because I'm looking down here at 100 and it's got a different scale. So it's not truly resetting it back to uh, 0. So we do need to put this in there. Rotate 0 degrees. All right, and I'll leave that at straight for right now. And now let's do a scale X, Y. And again, because we're scaling them the same, if you want to scale your X differently than your Y, then you could use uh, these two, but I'm just going to use that one for right now. And we're going to leave that at one. So one means it's, it's going to leave it at its original size. All right. Go to 10. And we need to, uh, well, since I'm on scale X, Y, we're at 0.8. So I want this to be 80% of what it originally was. That's what 0.8 means. It's going to make it uh, smaller. It's going to make it smaller by 20%. It's going to make it 80% of its original size. That's what's going on there. And what else we want to do? Rotate negative three degrees. So let's rotate negative three. And our 10% is done. And I'm going to go through 20 and then 30 and et cetera, all through these. Uh, let me make these a little bit bigger if you want to follow this code here. So. All right, so fast forwarding, and we're going to come back and compare and make sure everything looks right. All right, so let's give them a quick check. All right, we should be good. Let's see what it looks like. There we go. So we pretty much have the same thing that's going on, you know, right here except now we're kind of looping through it. Now you may notice there's a slight, maybe like that part right when it goes back down. Well, let's see what happens. Notice if you, see if you see any difference between when I do normal versus straight. You see how it doesn't kind of, there's a slight, it was a slight, uh, I don't know what, this, what word I'm using, a little skip or a little jitter in the normal when it goes back down. I don't know if you can notice it, but I can see it. Whereas if we go straight, it kind of keeps everything uniform. Now, you may say, well, it's not wobbling enough. So that's some things I want to talk about. Or this too. Heck, let's do a couple of things. Over here at the rotation point of this website, if we choose bottom right and watch what happens now. You see how it's doing it from this bottom right corner? If we do it from the top left corner for our rotation point, see how it's doing it from the top? Well, we can do that in KLWP as well. Freaking sweet. So anchor, let's do top left. And now check it out. See how it's doing in the top left corner? Um, what's, I don't know what the heck center right is going to do. Center or where's, where the heck is center right? 
oh, module right, that's the same thing. So it's doing it from right over here. So that's pretty cool, right? And let's see if that matches up over here with this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, some other things you can do too. Uh, I mean, this is where you can just start messing around with it. You could do like a loop with return. That's going to go back and forward. That's kind of crazy because what it's doing is it's going animating out, it's popping out, and then it's going backwards. So I don't like that, but uh, you know, it, there's a lot of things you can do with this. But that right there, roll with it like that. So some other things we can do. Um, if we go back into the, all these entries, we if we change our scales. Uh, you know, you can mess around with each one of these. You can make it bigger at certain points. You can make it rotate more. So let's do that. I'm going to come in here real quick. I'm going to fast forward through a lot of this and I'm going to make it rotate more than negative three degrees and positive three degrees. So now notice my change. My change is now I'm at instead of uh, negative three and positive three, I'm going at 30 degrees, uh, both positive and negative direction. I'm just going to double check these real quick. Make sure everything is changed from three or negative three to positive 30 or negative 30. Looks good to me. And now we're going to see a more good gosh almighty. There you go. Yep. Um, if we center this back up in the center, there you go. And there you have it, you know, a little ta-da thing, you know, jotting out at you. Uh, again, adjusting the degrees to make it more degrees. Again, you can tweak that stuff and you can explore other examples over here. However, um, maybe some of you can chime in on this. We don't have a skew feature like they have over here at this website. Maybe we can request that in a future update, or maybe there is a way you can do it. Uh, please share that in the comments section below. Check out this website. It'll help you learn a lot about CSS3. That's exactly how I've made quite a few of those things in that preview piece I did back here um, a couple days ago. And there it is, another uh, tutorial on complex animations, and that is it for this video. I hope it helped.